Well, it was a long-awaited night tonight in the city. The reopening of Carnegie Hall, which has been shut down since the start of the pandemic. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis joins us live in Midtown with more. Jenna? Maurice and Christine, this is the longest Carnegie Hall had been closed in its 130 year history. So its opening tonight was truly something special, not just for the institution and the world of music, but also for the city as we move forward from the pandemic. After 572 days, it gives me the greatest joy to say welcome back to Carnegie Hall. Cheers and the sound of music filled Carnegie Hall. After nearly 19 months of silence and darkness at the historic concert venue, we're just thrilled. It feels like a dream come true. It's our great pleasure to welcome Maestro Yanni Lezisian, Yuja Wang, and the Philadelphia Orchestra. The first performance at the hall since the March 2020 shutdown began with a new work titled Seven O'Clock Shout. The piece by Valerie Coleman, inspired by the 7 p.m. cheering citywide each night at the height of the pandemic in honor of the frontline workers. The opening night gala concert also included works by Bernstein and Beethoven. When it ended, people we spoke to were smiling ear to ear. It was unbelievable. There was such energy, such electricity. It was phenomenal. A live audience also returned Wednesday night to Symphony Space on the Upper West Side. A night, a long time coming for the city, that deserves a standing ovation. The iconic venue is planning 100 concerts this season, which is down from 150 pre-pandemic. And a sold-out show tonight is an indication of how much people couldn't wait to be back. At Carnegie Hall in Midtown, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Bravo, Jenna. Thank you. How about an encore?